Hello and welcome to the Stanley Parable. Uh, just Ben here. Um, so I have seen a lot about this game and I thought seeing as there's a, uh, a Steam sale I'd give it a go. Ooh. So let's uh, let's crack on. So I'm I'm not too sure what the games of uh, this is the story of a man named quiet. Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. That sounds like this office is what work. Employee <laughs> Am I right? Did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Yeah, Though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Hey, well, someone's got to do it, I suppose. Someone's got to do it. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Good something Lord. he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Fuck. No one had showed up to give him instructions, Shit. call a meeting, or even say hi. Damn. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Clearly. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from Ooh. his desk and stepped out of his office. Uh, okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Where the fuck Stanley are you, co-workers? to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah. No matter how hard Stanley looked, copy my ass. he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Yeah. Go. Co-workers. Wherefore art thou co-workers? Oh, what's that? Loading. Okay, cool. Alright. Hmm. Alright, to the meeting room. Let's see if there must be a surprise birthday. I, I don't... It may be my birthday. Hello? Man, this place is a fucking mess. Clear it up. Click, click. Uh, click. Uh, I'll, tell, I'll tell someone when I see them. Hey, you. Uh, uh, there's no one here. Hmm. When Stanley came to a set of two oh. open doors, he entered the door on his left. Did he? Did he? Did he now? Oh. Oh, no. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, uh, and Stanley oh, no. knew it perfectly well. Yeah. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Exactly. That was my intention all along. All along. Ah, yes, are. truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just Indeed. to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Exactly. Stanley simply stood here, Drinking it all in. Oh, yes. It's like this dude can read my mind. Uh, okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, did he? I tell you what, let's let's. It's dark. Ah, let's do it. And so he detoured through the maintenance section. Walk straight ahead to the opposite door and but, got back on track. But but there's a red button. There's a red. Uh, uh, but, but but there's a red button. Ah, uh, fuck it. I know what's enticing. Yes. Yes. Oh, loading screen. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Exactly. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, 
Du, 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 du. Well, from here, it's um left. It's dark. I don't even have a choice this time. All right, let's go left. Oh no! Ah. No, it's to the right. My mistake. Uh, okay. No, ah, no, 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 not the right. I don't like doors closing. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? Where is what it? Was I thinking? What were you thinking? It's clearly. Oh dear! Would you hold on for a minute, please? Yes. Can lights? No, no. Let's see. We lights down, right, left, down, down, left, right, left. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yes. I've got it now. This <laughs> story is absolutely, definitely this way. I see. That makes perfect sense. Hmm. Okay. But it's so dark. Dear God. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, huh. Stanley, close your eyes. Uh, okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. Uh, How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. The okay. Mystery. Suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From okay. the top. All of his co-workers were gone. Yes, they what were. What did that mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hmm. Deja vu. Deja... Deja vu. Ha, ah, the clock works. That's fantastic. Okay. Well, it's clearly getting very late. Or lunchtime. Either way, I am hungry and tired. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Well, did something change? I went to... Stanley, did yes. you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you uh, move the story somewhere, or... Uh, uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Exactly. It was right here just a minute we ago. We never did I'm nothing. I'm sure that it's here somewhere. Come on. Okay, then. It's okay. an adventure. <gasps> Come, Stanley. Let's oh. find the story. Well, now, well. Well, my rule of thumb is first left. Left again. Uh, yeah. Left again. Uh, and left again. Left again, left again, left. Oh, okay. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you <laughs> there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? I don't, I well, don't I know. It's unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. I okay, feel like I am Why going not? in circles. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is familiar. Hmm. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, Stanley dude. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yes. Uh. Okay. okay oh, yeah, for fuck's sake. Yep. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Uh, Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Yeah, yeah, let's do that then. Thank you. Right, so... Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh, tell me about it. Ah, oh. oh. anyway. What a goddamn mess. Um, maybe I have to log in on here. Oh. Oh. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, what about this one? Uh oh. Oh, damn. Okay. So, spilling coffee. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The ah. story. 
Yeah. Here it comes. I'm ready. I'm ready for the story. No, wait, never mind. Oh, no. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way okay. and retrace our steps. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, okay, doc. Uh, oh, dear God. What? Is this blood? Uh, what is this? I, I don't even. I don't. Uh, am I going to get this, murdered? Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I don't think I so either. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Mm. Uh, do you remember, Stanley? I do recall. Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? Okay. You win. Fuck yes. Congratulations. Oh, I know you I put in awesome. a lot of hard work, and it yeah. really paid off. So, good job. Thanks. Oh, oh man, no. I'm good at this game. No, I don't feel right about this at all. What? We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Oh, Some but... people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Yeah, it kind of okay. was. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. Yeah, I don't too. care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Okay. Let's go again! <laughs> um. Where shall I go? All right. Hello? I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow Fan the line. Fantastic. How simple is that? That's pretty simple. Let's do it. Follow the dollar brick road. Follow the dollar brick road. Follow the follow the follow the follow the follow the dollar brick road. That's different. Oh. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's fo follow the dollar brick. Wait. Some motherfucker's been playing solitaire. Oh, I'm gonna tell the boss. You see, the line knows where the story is. Exactly. It's over in this direction. Onward, that direction. Stanley, to destiny. Bro. Wouldn't oh. wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Hmm. Simply by the act of moving ah, forward, conundrum. are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Hmm. Okay, Stanley, I need to we'll follow run. this huh. train of thought for a minute. Just ah, stick with me. Landed it. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one's subjective experience of that existence, right? Yeah, okay. totally. Now, if my experience hmm. of your existence rests inside uh, of your yeah. subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. I think Hang so. On. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Huh. Not sure where I was going with all that. That's you okay. Know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Please. Oh, yeah. Man, this is fucking fantastic. Well, now I feel like I'm on good damage. Cut the music, oh. go back, and look at that fern. Okay. Stanley, this yes. fern will be very important later in the story. Will it? Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. I see. Cool. Wait. Okay. That is a bad ass fur. Onwards. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. 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 Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? 
Is any of this ringing a bell? The, the line is alive. Onwards. I followed the line. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And could after you we trusted you. How after could everything you? we've been through, you... No, oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Ah. Oh. Restarting again. Hey, the line again. Okay, wait. No, okay. Follow the... Follow the... Wait. Follow the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Eh, it's not quite got the same ring to it, You really. know what, Stanley? I say forget the Adventure Line. What's it ever done for us? Fuck We're all. intelligent people, right? Right. Why can't we make up our own story? Right. Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Yeah. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Yeah. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay. Let's do it. Like this is... Let's do it. Okay. Now, yes, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. Exactly. What do you want our story to be? Mm. Go wild. Uh. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, uh. Stanley, I'm ready for it. I want it to be a pirate adventure. I want it to be a pirate oh, no, adventure. Not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. But the no line. lines or monitor rooms. But Just don't line. acknowledge it, and we mm. should be fine. Okay, if you insist. Just the loop, the loop. Can't do the loop, the loop. Ah, it's okay. It's gone in there now. Uh. Ah. A choice. Oh. We get to make a decision. Yes. From here, the story is in our control. Yes. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Okay. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Uh huh. Okay. Uh. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door. Leads here. You know what? Fuck the police. And that in turn <laughs> means that our destination <laughs> corresponds <laughs> with a counter inverted <laughs> reverse. I'm going the wrong origin. way. <laughs> so, starting from the right, let us ask will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? Yes. And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Uh. Another victory for logic. Indeed. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Charge! Oh. What's that? We're gonna watch some TV. That's not much of a choice, is it? Eh? Fine. <laughs> oh, hold up! What's this? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. The confusion ending. You're yeah. telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending. What? We're supposed to restart the game for eight, eight? Times? That's Ooh. really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? No, wait, what? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here what? on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, but, it can't be. I, but, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um... Time travel. Whatever it is that made this or schedule. Time stop. How would we even know? I can do anything I want. Will someone come for us? I don't like that one. Will something happen? Stanley can't die. So, hmm. okay. Okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, hmm. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure hmm. if we're yeah, in the destination kinda. or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. That is we'll the destination. Find out, won't we? The destination. Eventually. 
Well, in the meantime... If oh, okay. Lab noises. <laughs> oh, what the... Is it... Back. Back at... Back to the beginning. Let's let's see. Let's see what this takes us. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps to the meeting room. Memo. Right. Still. Okay. Ah. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. He did. That's what I did. I did it the right time that time. Meeting room. Yet there was not uh, a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Yes. I'm gonna photocopy my balls. The Synergize. Core value. Expenditure. Shift global. Monetize. Free to play. <laughs> Dave, you got the accounts, we're gonna synergize the core value expenditures. Anyway. Hmm. Do we go Coming up to or a down? staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Let's do what he says this time. Oh, so wanky. Check this shit. Ex oh. oh, I've always wanted to see what the executive bathroom looks like. But the toilet's made of fucking gold. Janet, can you tell the boss I'm coming? Oh, it's Mr. Burns' office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Fuck. Shocked, right. unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Who orchestrated what this? What he could not have known what dark was secret? that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Ah. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, two, eight, Stanley four, five. couldn't possibly have known this. Indeed. I'm going to take some of his good brandy. Alright. So... Two, eight, four, five. That was a good guess. Incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, what I Stanley did. happened to input the correct code oh. by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped oh. into the newly opened Ooh. passageway. Holy crap. That's me. That's what I look like all the time. Anyway. Oh, button. Down we go. Oh no, don't start again. Don't start again. I won't forgive you. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though Actually, he felt thinking... more free to think for himself, to no, question the nature sushi. of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Dodgy this sushi. question would not go unanswered for long. Thank goodness. Oh. This game is dark. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read <laughs> Mind Control Facility. Ah, I wonder what's in here. Who knows? Is, is this the Matrix? Is Morpheus gonna come out? Morpheus? Okay. Buttons! 
The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. That's where I was. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Yes. Did he have the strength to find out? I feel Pro Professor Xavier is going to come out in his wheelchair. And be like, Hello, Stanley. Nice to see you again. You are actually one of us. A mutant. You have the ability to go back in time. Button. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their yes. true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so Dark. many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Yeah. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Nothing. This is an office place. This is basically what they're all like. Is there a delete button? Do I press this to go to the men's toilets? I do need to go. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Can't Had be Stanley true. Really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? That does sound like Professor Xavier. No. He refused to believe it. I refuse. He accept it. I can't His accept own it. life in someone else's control? Never. Never. It was unthinkable. Unthinkable. It? Was it even possible? Did Had it? he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Good Happy Lord. or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Goodness. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Yes. Let's fuck this shit up. It's all offline. Buttons. I want to press that one. No. How do I do such things? Ah. That looks like a big, glowy... big button. Okay. Ooh, and five. Hmm. Hmm. Let's press five. Let's see what the big red button does. The big red button. Oh, let's go down here quickly. Whoa, weird. Okay. Um. Yep. Button. Button. No, but it's a big red button. Can I not click it? Click, click, click. Mm. Okay. Well, that was good. That was extremely unsatisfying. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in and input this. And when at last he found the source of the room's power. Oh. I turned it off. I don't know if I meant to do that. So dark. Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Oh. Was it over? Oh. Yes. Yes. He had won. Yes. He had defeated the machine. Yes. Unshackled himself from someone yes. else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Open. And yet, Open. even as the immense door slowly opened, I can see Stanley a reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? Where had how they had gone? he been freed from the machine's grasp? Indeed. What other mysteries did this strange building hold? 
But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, exactly. what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be Fuck his. you, I won't do what you tell me. all he needed to know. Wow, look at that glorious. It was glorious. perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Yes, I did. I did. Freedom. Freedom. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. Yeah. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Yeah. And Stanley was happy. Yay. Yeah. I am happy. Lovely. <laughs> the end is never oh, okay then oh, back at the beginning okay well I'm gonna call it there then that was fun and uh, I might do another one of these might not we'll see until next time fairly well